Welcome back to Photo 101, your resource for all things photography. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest content. And if you enjoy this video, hit that like button. Today, we're taking a look at the hidden worlds revealed through macro photography. Not a week goes by that we don't see headlines for how science is pushing boundaries from the largest to smallest of scales. Advances in photography over the last century and a half have made this possible and fundamentally changed the way we see the world, from the first snapshot of a single atom to sweeping views of the most distant light in our cosmos. This point wasn't lost on a man named William Ivins, head curator of prints and photography at MoMA in the early 1900s. During his time overseeing the collection, Ivins remarked that photography had come a long way from its humble origins. He argued that in modern society, it has not only vastly extended the gamut of our visual knowledge, it's affected a very complete revolution in the ways we use our eyes, and especially in the kinds of things our minds permit our eyes to tell us. That's a fancy way of saying that as photography advanced, so too did our understanding of details once hidden from view. Let's take a look at three photographers who each contributed to pushing the boundaries at the intersection of art and science to provide new insights. We've all heard tales of photographers doing some pretty incredible things to get the shot. But how about braving sub-zero temperatures to photograph snowflakes? Meet William Bentley, aka Snowflake Bentley. Born in Vermont in 1865, he was drawn to studying the natural world from an early age. Surrounded by a sea of white during the winter months, he began to take an interest in the unique details of snow up close. Using a simple compound microscope at first, he would try to sketch their shapes in a mad dash before they melted. Noticing this didn't leave him much time, he had a better idea. Innovate. He attached a camera bellows to his microscope and set them outside in the cold, placing a piece of black velvet close to the lens for a perfect backdrop. Suddenly, he could take photographs capturing their fleeting appearance in a fraction of the time it took to draw them. Looking back, his contribution of over 5,000 macro images showed the world the intricate detail of a simple snowflake. Perhaps more importantly, he proved that each and every one is inherently unique. While Bentley innovated his way to creating images of a unique subject, the gear he used was a means to an end. For others, the technology of photography goes hand in hand with the subject they seek to portray. One such artist, Catherine Wagner, is interested in how the instruments of science influence the study of a subject. In her work, Cross Sections, large-scale photographs made from MRI scans frame biological specimens against an inky black background. Composing each image with an eye for spatial arrangement, her work takes everyday objects outside of their typical context to elevate them and speak to something greater than scientific study alone. The aim of Wagner's work is for us to ask deeper questions about the role of technology in how it shapes what we understand about the nature of everyday appearances, both now and far into the future. Macro photography isn't only reserved for things beyond our everyday vision. Even subjects like insects benefit from a closer inspection. That was the aim of photographer Levon Biss in his series Microsculptures. Drawing from specimens contained at the Oxford Museum of Natural History and using an electron scanning microscope, Biss captured thousands of images of each insect in stunning detail at 10 time magnification. The subjects were lit from multiple angles in order to illuminate hard to see details. Once the final composite image is processed, a whole new window is opened into the insect's anatomy. Through his work, Biss provides not only an eye-popping and colorful glimpse at these tiny creatures, but also shows the beauty of each species' adaptation to their environment over millennia. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can check out all our resources on photography and more at mopa.org.